Every single year in the spring, in March and February, Chicago Botanic Garden organizes orchid show. It's one of the biggest orchid shows in the world and I've lived here for 10 years and every single one of those 10 years I have visited Chicago Orchid Show. And this time I decided to take you with me and film these beautiful and gorgeous flowers so you can get inspired just as I did. It is now believed that orchids are purely decorative plants and flowers, but orchids have been used as a source of food, medicine, religious charms, adhesives, perfumes, straw and flavorings. For example, vanilla is orchid, it comes from an orchid. Also, they have been used as aphrodisiacs. They are thought to cure fever, arthritis, cough, headaches and wounds in many parts of the world. They are also made into a remedy for, surprise, sick elephants in Malaysia and a kind of ice cream in Turkey. The orchid family is very large and diverse, consisting about 2,500 naturally occurring species and more than 100,000 hybrids. Orchids are native to every continent on Earth, but mostly they are in tropics. They are not carnivorous or parasitic as some people think because they do grow on trees but in symbiotic relationship. And unlike most plants, both male and female reproductive organs are carried on the same structure of the orchid, the column. The most popular orchids here in North America are Phalaenopsis orchids. They are widely available in every flower store or garden center, but there are so many different orchids that are also easy to grow, but they are hard to find. I used to grow orchids a lot before. In 2016, I even joined the Illinois Orchid Society and participated in the local orchid show where I displayed my um, orchids together with other people who were growing them. I used to have a collection of approximately 100 orchids, but then um, I slowly started to realize that <laughs> there are different things that I want to grow, not just orchids. So I donated and gifted most of the orchids I had. I still have some, but not as many as before. I personally like orchids that are unique looking. Orchids like Wanda, Cattleya, Zygo and others. Also I like orchids that have a good smell, so some varieties of Oncidiums are really good smelling. There is one that's called chocolate Oncidium and it has a chocolate smell. Also there is a Cattleya that smells like apple. This is Cattleya by the way. And this is Lady Slipper, also one of the most fascinating orchids out there. These cute looking ones are called Miltonia and the one over there in the back is Dendrobium. Besides um, orchids, Chicago Botanic Garden also has a wide range of other plants and one of the stars of this greenhouse is this orange tree. Every time I come in the winter time it has oranges and then closer to summer they are being picked out I guess and I was so happy today that I was able to see the fruits. Most orchids grow on trees but there are those that grow in ground as well and this is one of them called spat. Unfortunately they are not hardy enough for Chicago weather to grow outside, they can be grown in greenhouses only. 
It's amazing how every single year Chicago Botanic Garden makes a different type of a display. Like they change from year to year. One time they had these beautiful uh, dresses uh, made of orchids. They were amazing. And another year they had chandeliers made with orchids. Orange jasmine had finished flowering and I was happy because I don't like the smell of jasmine flowers. It was fruiting today and I was so happy to see passion flower. This greenhouse had only one variety but it was beautiful. It's called scarlet for its beautiful bright red color. And there was a beautiful rare red orchid, Wanda. I like Wanda orchids, they're so cute. Also, there was a plant that didn't have a tag, so I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. More dendrobium orchids. My favorite dendrobium is this one called rock orchid. It has these cute little flowers that look like little spiders or insects. Another unique plant I found this time was this one. It looks like um, a giant flower cascading from this whining plant, which I'm not sure if it's an orchid or not, because as I said earlier, orchids come in all shapes and sizes. I also found cocoa or cacao tree, which was fruiting at the moment. Just look at those big gigantic fruits, amazing. I was very happy that I went and saw all of those orchids and also a bunch of snowdrops outside. I hope you liked it as well.